Hello YouTube, uh, what I've got today is I'm going to do a quick demonstration on how I change my strings. Because I've seen quite a few videos out there and that there's just a few things that I like to check that I'm not seeing get checked. I'd just like to share it with you so you can keep your guitar in tip top condition. Okay, let's go over to the guitar and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, so first things first, as you can see, I've got everything set up that I need. I've got my polishes to hand, I've got all the tools I'm going to need, I've got the rags I'm going to need, I've got the strings I'm going to need, and I've got my guitar in front of me on a workspace that's comfortable to work at. I can get round to both sides because you're going to need to stand in at this end. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into it. Right, so let's start with taking the strings off. This, this guitar is a little bit different because it has locking tuners so the first thing I'm going to do is just crack them off ok because the strings around the post enough right and get your string lined up let's get these bad boys off good thing with locking machine heads is going around the post about a quarter turn, half a turn, so this saves time of your life. Okay, so we just just whip them out. Be careful with your fingers because these ends are sharp. Tighten that off a bit. There we go, that comes out easy. Be careful because they're sharp. Right, so, right. So as you can see, I've got the strings out of the machine heads. I've just wrapped them up here. So what I'm going to do is get my wire cutters, just snip them off, close to the bridge. And always wind them up, keep them nice and tidy because you get stabbed and it's not very nice. And this guitar is equipped with a Tone Pro's locking bridge which has some saddle screws here which keeps this part on because if, if you've got a SG or a Les Paul or a bridge like this it might fall off when you loosen the strings. But luckily this one has got a lock in that and it's, it's not going to come off. Alright so let's just whip them out and you can see the reason why I cut the strings off because it's much more easier to get them out okay so now we've got the guitar in front of you let's give it a clean um, what I'm going to use today is if you've got any pick scratches here what I like to use is product I got it it's a special remedy from Manton's guitar shop and base basically just a like a teacup sort of get rid of the surface scratches and then also what I've got to use on it is Bender polish and conditioner swirl and haze remover and mist and wipe finish enhancer and obviously right I've got, got my toothbrush just let's get into these bits that we couldn't get to when the guitar had the strings on I've got a soft bristle toothbrush so it's not gonna scratch any of your hardware So we got all the dust out of there and I've got a few cloths that I use I've got a microfiber cloth here that I use I've got a cloth I like to put the polish on and this is what I use to take the polish off right so, so bear in mind 
that whilst you've been playing the guitar, all this has been rattling, all this has been rattling, it's been taking loads of abuse. So what I like to do is just check that everything is all tight. Okay? You check all your machine heads, make sure they're nice and tight. That was a bit loose. Okay. Okay, and then the next one I do is these ones here. So I've got to. Okay, that's nice. Yep. Okay, that was that was good. Right, what I've got now, you might be thinking I'm pillows, but yeah, what what I do is I like to put a couple of pillows down so I can turn the guitar over and let's start the work on the back so the first thing I'm going to do is the back's nice, there's no scratches on it so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use this polish from the digital app so a good shake I'm going to put a bit on a rag and just in my finger a couple of spots and then just work it into the guitar do I've got this one I like to put on my hand just to take it off and all the nooks and crannies and as you can see don't know if you're getting that lovely right now let's get to the front of the guitar I like to spend a, a bit more time and effort on the front because obviously this is a playing surface and it gets the most abuse. So what I've got here is a finish restorator. I'm just, I'm just going to put a little bit just, just round the bits just to get rid of the few surface scratches. So I'll just dog a bit on my rag. Just literally just around this part that I'm going to do it because it's quite a new guitar and there's not not scratches on it. It's just the pick where it scratches on there. And then once I've finished and removed that, what I'll do is I'll do the same process but all over the guitar body with this well haze remover. And then I shall put the polish and conditioner on it. And I know it sounds a lot, but you know, I like to look after my instrument. We're gonna do the final shine when when everything's on, the strings are on, I'll get it all up to tune. I'm gonna whack some of this on it. But oh, but what I'm gonna do is I'll clean the body and then I'll, I'll come back and I'll just show you how I treat the fretboard. Right, so we've got the guitar in front of me, nice position to work on. What I'm going to use on the fretboard is lemon oil. So what I tend to do is I just get it going a bit. I tend to put it on with my, my finger, do it two or three frets at a time. Let's do the first five, shall we? And what I like to do is I like to get a rag, fold it in half, in half again. And what I like to do is get a ruler and just put the ruler inside so you like this and then like this and get right up to the frets. Let's see that already. Back the other way. 
it's, it's really good because you can get right up tight to the frets where the dirt forms the most. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue down the fretboard using this same technique and then we're going to come back in a minute, I'm going to put the strings on and then we'll go from there.